Hi, my name is Charlotte, I work at ISCA, and today I'm going to explain to you how you create an event on Eventbrite.com. After you have logged on to Eventbrite.com, you will then click on Create an Event. You will come to this page, and the first thing to do is to write your event title. In my case, I am doing an event called Family Running, so I write it here. The next step is to write the venue name, and the venue could be a gym, a park, or a square, but in my case, my event is happening at a gym called Sam's Gym. And Sam's Gym is located on 5 Regent Street in London. My event is happening on the Wednesday of Move Week, and as we know, Move Week is the first week of October. So, my event is happening on Wednesday, the 9th of October, from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. Now we want to set the right time zone, so we click here and we select Greenwich Mean Time plus one for the United Kingdom. Greenwich Mean Time plus one, United Kingdom time, and save. Next, you can upload a logo, and you do that by choosing the file here, and then clicking on Upload. Now we absolutely want to have an event description, so you write your event description here. Because of the way the system is set up, the organizer name and organizer description will automatically default to the Now We Move campaign. To change this, we click here. In my case, my organization is called Charlotte's Organization. So I write it there. And we also want to write a short text about our organization, so you write your organizer description here. The next step is to indicate how many participants you expect to participate in your event. Now tickets are always free. And the next thing to do is to write expected participants here. And in my case, I expect there to be about 250 participants. The next step is to just leave this as it is. And you can either save your event, you can preview your event, or you can make your event live. That's it. Thanks for your attention and have a great move week.